Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing four cryptos which are ApeCoin, SingularityNet, Fetch.ai and Hashflow. We will see where they might move over the next weeks. Please subscribe to our channel to receive our real-time trading signals and our analysis on cryptos, stocks, forex and commodities. Then you can join us at patreon.com slash financial trading academy. Disclaimer, we do not take responsibilities for your trading. Let's start with ApeCoin on a daily basis. As of today, it is worth 4.09 US dollar. So what is going to happen over the next days? We strongly believe that ApeCoin is going to move horizontally with some uh, spike upwards and downwards over the next days. We would be uh, buyers only at the break of the 8 US dollar area from where we see a strong horizontal resistance. In other words, we are stating that right now, ApeCoin doesn't look that good for us. Let's move on and let's analyze SingularityNet. For SingularityNet, we have a different scenario, and the reason is given by the incoming of volumes. In fact, as of 2023, we see a strong incoming of volumes. Right now, we expect uh, SingularityNet keeping moving horizontally or slightly lower, yet over the next weeks and months, we expect SingularityNet breaking above the 0 0.50 US dollar area from where we see horizontal resistance. And actually, after breaking above the aforementioned threshold, we see SingularityNet keeping moving higher, skyrocketing, still uh, testing the previous tie, uh, the previous high at two US dollar. Let's move on and let's analyze Fetch.ai, which has a very similar chart when compared with Singularity. Uh, here, in terms of cyclicality, we see that uh, Fetch.ai has hit the upper phase of the Gauss curve. We expect then uh, Fetch.ai keeping moving downwards a little bit, but given the flow of volumes, even uh, for Fetch.ai, similarly then with uh, SingularityNet, we expect then a break above the 0 0.40 US dollar. In other words, a buy limit could be placed above this area from where we see uh, several doji, one, two, three doji, and uh, one long black candle, uh, one series of long black candle and long white candle. So, buy limit above this area. Let's analyze then Hashflow. Hashflow is keeping moving horizontally. Uh, we still believe that it is not ready to skyrocket, uh, yet uh, a buy limit could be placed above the 1.20 US dollar area from where we see the high of the, this prolonged series of horizontal movement. Thank you, guys.